Good morning kids, today we're checking out a brand new video from Frogmatic of Pokemon that he has scrapped over, well I guess the last year or so. Now if I had to guess these are probably from like his list of, uh, you know, Pokemon of every type and such. So, uh, I don't know what else to say other than let's hop in and see who he's digging out of the trash. Hey everyone, Brandon here. When crafting a hey, fake Brandon. mon region such as my India-based region Devar, not every idea for a Pokemon can make the final cut. There are a bunch of Pokemon designs that I had to remove from the decks for many different reasons. So today we're going to explore those designs and why they were cut. It's oh. no secret that I'm a fan of Meowth regional forms. I mean, one of the first videos that pushed my channel out to the almighty algorithm was a Meowth of every type. So <laughs> of course, when given the opportunity, I wanted to make another one. So here is what would have been Devarian Meowth, a pure ice type that I worked with Tubbs AZ on. This little guy is based on the Palace's cat, which can be found all over Central Asia and the Himalayas. It is the grumpiest nice. looking little guy, and I knew I wanted to include it when I saw it in a nature documentary. This form also follows the trend of previous male forms being weak to the fighting type. As to why it was cut, well, that will become more apparent when we evolve it into Davarian Persian. Ooh. This guy is based on the Snow Leopard, which is also found across much of the Himalayas. So, do you see the issue? After Pokemon Scarlet and Violet released and this thing appeared ah. on my screen, I was struck with such grief because my cute yeah. little cats were way yeah. too similar in concept. I just wish Damn. they could have saved these heavily Chinese-inspired designs for, I don't know, a China region? I know, crazy thought. I don't oh. hate Chan Pao's design, and maybe I'm just a bit bitter, but ooh, these ooh, two- Wait, 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 what about a Legends game set in China? There you go. Well, you really get to see the Pokemon of Ruin bring about Ruin. And maybe, like, your mission is to, like, trap them or something? and Which, is, which would lead for you to then trap them in Paldea. Oh, brilliant! Regional forms were so perfect. And you know what else would be perfect? If you became a member. It helps me pay the lovely artists to make designs like these, and it makes it so I don't have to take as many sponsors on the channel. I even have a new art mage tier in which you can directly pay for one Fakemon design a month, hey. and will receive access to a high quality image of said Fakemon. Again, this really helps the channel, That's especially cool. during the early part of the year when ad revenue is at its lowest. So make sure to hit that join button if I you can. can. It understand. really does help. Oh, hold on everyone, we'll be right back. And we're back! Originally, when crafting Devar, I had the thought of having ride Pokemon like in Pokemon Legends Arceus or Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hmm. That concept was ultimately scrapped in favor of the Rotom Bike Plus, but there was a Pokemon Still that I specifically awesome. designed to be a water-focused ride Pokemon. And when thinking of a Pokemon to ride in the water, of course a shot <clears throat> I mean Dolphin came to mind. Oh. So meet <laughs> Suswim, the jet Pokemon and its pre-evolution, Gilly, the Smile Pokemon. Aww. Both are pure water type, and I worked with JJ Mons to bring them to life. They're based on the Ganges River Dolphin and the Alligator Gar, respectively. I thought the long snout these two animals shared was a cute. fun connection, and having fish evolve into a dolphin felt very in line with Pokemon like Remoraid and Octillery, mm -hmm. which Suswim shares its category with Remoraid as a reference to that. Gilly's name comes from Gil and Glee, in reference to its big old smile. And Suswim's name comes from Susu, which is what the Ganges River Dolphin is called in the awesome region of India. But also, sus. As in those big chompers are suspicious for such an adorable Pokemon. <laughs> Another reason bite. I scrapped this design was because of this little cutie pie that premiered in Scarlet and Violet. I felt like introducing a dolphin Pokemon directly after such a new iconic one just came out would feel redundant, and since I replaced the ride system anyway, it made sense to leave it out. But don't leave yeah, me out sense. of your subscription feed. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and a comment if you enjoy this video and the Devar region. I am hard at work on the next video in this series which covers both the storylines and the gimmick forms for this region. It is taking me a bit longer than I had anticipated, okay. so I appreciate your patience as I work on that. Thank Some you, Pokemon I actually scrapped because they were too similar to another concept I came up with at a later point and enjoyed much more. Such is the case with our next cup Pokemon, Shalisk, the Scarf Pokemon, and its evolution, okay. Turbancha, the Headwrap Pokemon. Both are pure psychic type, and I worked with Anardus Astray to create them. Shawlisk is based on flatworms, slugs, and a dupata, a kind of long shawl-like scarf worn on the Indian subcontinent. And of course, Turbancha is inspired by turbans, and it is a literal interpretation of a turban snail. Shawlisk's oh. name is a fairly obvious pun, but Turbancha's name comes from turban, kancha, and gonga, which is snail in Hindi. So this line was ultimately scrapped oh, okay. in place of okay. Arakakara. 
the new evolution to Spide Ops I worked with Kaifake Monasar to create. As much as I love these slimy little dudes, I just had to have a Rakakara in Devar when I thought of the concept for it. Also, Obviously. there is a bug type gym leader in Devar that an evolution for Spide Ops worked perfectly for, which we'll cover in that storyline video I just talked about. Yeah, there are some Pokemon I get so excited to create that I don't fully flesh out the concept as much as I could and sometimes don't even have a name for it. That is the case with this Pokemon here, which is a normal type that I worked with Trainer Mats huh. on. It is inspired by badminton, which is India's second most popular sport. The basic con- I, I was gonna get in Klepki vibes from it because of all the feathers. Looks like it steals feathers from, well, bullet Pokemon. Except for this little guy was that he roams around the Devar region picking up feathers from various bird Pokemon. Hey. Why? I didn't get that far. What's more is that this Pokemon was actually my second attempt at making a badminton Pokemon. The first iteration were these two. The idea was that it was a <laughs> shuttlecock, hold for laughter, that evolved into a rocket shuttle to reference India's space program, the ISRO. I just wasn't happy with the base stage, it just felt too basic to me, and I thought that the rocket shuttle alone wasn't a strong enough concept. Only for me to yeah, not be happy right. with the redesign. Let me be clear, this is not at all the artist's fault. I just didn't hone in on the concept enough, and it didn't feel worth another redesign to get it right, and properly balance this design. And the balance in the amount of poison and dark types in Devar was why these next Pokemon were scrapped. So meet Davarian Nicket, a dark poison type, and a new regional okay. evolution, Jackal, the Jackal Ooh. Pokemon, which I worked with the that lovely Kaifake Monasar to create. These two are based on a tale from the Pancha Tantra, a collection of animal-related fables dating back to 200 BC, but maybe much older. Oh, the tale is called the Blue Jackal. It describes a jackal that accidentally falls into a vat of blue dye while running from dogs. When it comes out, it's dyed blue. All the animals hmm. then mistook the jackal to be the creator god of the jungle. It took advantage of this and deceived them all into giving them all the food they had and chasing away other jackals. Oh, Eventually, the jackal no. is discovered to be fake, and let's just say it doesn't end well for it. Defarian Nicket and Jackal evil? are also based on the evil spirits said to take the form of jackals that accompany Chumbo. Calling it now, he was eaten by that lion. Unda, a goddess of war and disasters. Jackal's name obviously comes from a mix of Jackal and Thievil, but also sounds like Jackal. As in, after an encounter with this Pokemon, you'll be left with Jackal. One other oh. reason I scrapped these two was because the concept that. felt slightly too similar to Scrap Up and a Mongrel, who are the main doggos of Devar. And some other main Pokemon of Devar are the Bugs. Before coming up with the Lunarva and Emberm lines, the oh. main bug Pokemon okay. was going to be the Helmite line, and there's actually a middle stage of that line that was scrapped. So meet Minorant, the ant Pokemon, oh. a bug ground type. Funnily enough, all the- Yeah, I, I don't see uh, too much about it. You know, like, I don't see it as bad nor good, but it would have been nice to have. The bugs I've talked about in this section of the video were done by JJ Mons, so make sure to check them out. As to why I scrapped Minorant, it basically comes down to I came up with the concept for Lunarva, got really excited about it, and then thought that the Emberm line having a two-stage ground-type counterpart would be much more interesting. It also felt a bit like an unnecessary middle stage, because the jump from Helmite to Digroll I really like, and feels much more like something Pokemon would do to me. You know, and yeah, speaking you're right. of things Pokemon did, on Pokemon Day of 2022, we were introduced to the starters of the Paldea region, to which I was both delighted and deeply dismayed, because of this adorable little plan ruiner! What do I mean? Well, allow me to introduce the original grass starter of the Devar region, Cubkin, the grass cub <laughs> Pokemon. A pure grass type who I worked with Elite Four to grass create. Cat. Yep, originally I was going to have a lion be the grass starter of Devar, which is why, yet again, one of my regions had two horned quadrupeds as the fire and grass starter Pokemon. Though okay, when it comes okay. down to it, I actually prefer the Shishrub line and am quite happy with how they turned out. Anyway, Cubkin evolves into Growleaf, the grass lion Pokemon, a pure grass type. And then Not finally, bad. Ma Simha, a grass oh, rock type. They are all inspired good. by the Asiatic lion, which the only wild population lives in India. But they are also inspired by Narasimha, the fourth avatar of the god Vishnu, who is half man, half lion. The rock typing was inspired by two things. First is the extinct animal this line was based on are Eurasian cave lions, which, yeah. true to their name, had fossils discovered in caves. Second was that Narasimha, when he incarnated, burst forth from a stone pillar. And, oh, in some versions cool. of the tale, Pralada, who summoned Narasimha through his belief in Vishnu, said he is in pillars and he is in the smallest twig, which works perfectly for a grass rock type. <laughs> and yes, those were the scrapped does. Pokemon of the Devar region. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. 
Well, that answer was that instead, people. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below. So remember to support the original crayon all they do. And I'll see all you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.